we're getting ready to go into a unit about web design and creating web pages and before we do that though I, I want to make sure everybody's on the same page with just some basic internet terms and things like this this might be old news to you so it might be a refresher or this might be something that you really never heard about before so let's look at this here's some terms that you should know if you're going to be creating web pages we have to start with the very basic I mean there would be no web pages no creating things like that if there was no internet so what is the internet well it's just a matter of the interconnected networks is kind of where the word came from and I like to think of it as all the things you can touch the hardware part of the internet basically are all those cables the fiber the computers the telephone lines the routers and things like that that connect our computers so that we can get out onto the internet and see what other people are doing now on the other hand where the internet's the hardware the browser is what is the software that you have to have to view these web pages you just can't view a web page with any old software but you have choices with browsers you can use Microsoft Internet Explorer Mozilla Firefox Google Chrome there's other ones like if you're on an Apple computer you're probably using Safari so there are other things out there but you have to have a browser whatever kind you select you need that in order to see the web pages and what is a web page well it's one screen of data when you're looking at webs you know you're going out and searching information a web page is just basically one screen of information whereas a website is all those related pages put together for oh an individual that makes a website or an organization all those put together creates that website of course you know the home page that should be the first page of any website um, the home page is like the the door that brings you into the rest of the website the file name is usually called index and that's usually the name for a home page and that'll be important as you start creating your websites and then of course where do all these web pages that you create where do they reside well on a computer a specific type of computer called a web server and that's where the web pages are stored web servers are connected to the internet in a way with settings that allow it to be open for public viewing so that other people can basically jump onto that computer and see what's on there other things oh HTML if you want to get down to the nitty-gritty HTML that is the basic code of all your web pages and there's lots of different codes nowadays but HTML is where it all started you now have things like DHTML XHTML a variety of other scripting languages but they all kind of center around HTML that's the heart of it and where it all started HTTP now whenever you look up at a web address in when you're on the web uh, when you're on the web and looking at that HTTP is probably what you see in front of any web page and it stands for hypertext transfer protocol a protocol is just a set of rules and we all live by different protocol in our lives we all have different sets of rules we have to live by well HTTP is a set of rules for transferring files over the web a URL I have a friend that calls this URL all the time but a URL the letters stand for uniform resource locator is basically just the address of a web page and the parts of a URL let's look at this now this is a made-up address this should not take you anywhere I just made it up we start with HTTP colon slash slash my business dot com slash catalog slash shoes slash Nike dot HTM now let's break these parts of this URL down the HTTP we just talked about that's the protocol so you may not always have HTTP up there but something is going to precede that sometimes it's HTTPS 
Do any of you know what the S represents? It should stand for secure. So if you're on a website where they're asking you for personal data, they're asking you for uh, your credit card, maybe you're buying something, you better see an S up there so that you can at least feel like they've done their part to make it a secure site when you give them that data. Anyway, HTTP TTP is the protocol. The next part is mybusiness.com. That is the domain name of the website. If you ever search Google and you're clicking around trying to find something and you see up at the address bar some nice long address, delete this part of it until you get to the .com or the .org or whatever that ending part is. That is the home page and the domain and the home page should reside right there. After business, mybusiness.com, you have slash catalog and slash shoes. Those are just folders, folders that are sitting on a computer, just like when you create folders to save your stuff on your computer. When a web creator is making a website, they better keep things organized or they're going to go crazy over a, a period of time. So this web designer created a folder called catalog. And then inside that folder created a, a folder called shoes so that they could keep things organized. So these are just folder levels that were created on a computer when the web designer was making the website. And then inside the shoes folder is the last part, nike.htm. That is where the file was actually created, probably showing the Nike shoes that they had for sale. They created that page. They saved the file, called it nike.htm, and they saved it inside the shoes folder, which was inside the catalog folder on the web server that housed the domain called mybusiness.com. And just a few more little tidbits here. The home page should be normally called index. File names should not contain spaces. Keep them brief because guess what? Every time you create a folder and name it or name one of your uh, web page files and save it, that is going to become a part of the web address. And computers are nowadays handling the spaces pretty well. It's people that don't handle those spaces very well because when there's a space in a file name, the computer will autom automatically put um, something like a percent sign, 2-0 percent sign, to identify it as a space. Well, when people see that, that just becomes a real pain to try to remember a web address with all those symbols and numbers in between. So don't put spaces in and try to keep them brief. It is going to become a part of your web address. Folders, use folders. Stay organized by using folders, uh, some kind of a folding folder system that makes sense to you as well as name your files and folders with names that are consistent, some kind of naming schemes so that when you look at that file name or you look at that folder name, it makes sense to you what that is or what's inside that folder. All right, just to break it down, summarize, a web page is a document written in HTML format and saved on a web server. HTML documents use the HTTP protocol, which is the protocol for transferring files over the web. And a browser must be used to view a web page because browsers display HTML formatted documents and use HTTP protocol. That's a lot of information to take in, so flip back through this video and watch it. Um, just to, to get that basic information, it's going to help you in the long run. If you create web pages, you have to have a grasp of how this is all working. Okay, that's all for today.